Dave from DNA Reptilia here. Just got home from work. Stolen my work clothes. But, got another unboxing from JDH Reptiles. And yeah, we won this one too. A little differently this time. Like I said in the intro, we want another snake. And this one is from JDH Reptiles. If you haven't uh, found him on YouTube yet, or like him on Instagram, or follow him on uh, Facebook, go find him. I'll throw some links down below. We are actually in his Patreon. We um, support him for like $10 a month. And uh, it's like a little closed group of people you know everybody is completely friendly um, through Facebook Messenger and stuff like that and every week I do believe he throws up items for a raffle um, depending on the value of the animal or item depends on how many spots are open for the raffle and depending on what tier you have for the Patreon Depends on how many extra spots that you get. Since we're at the $10 tier, for every two places we buy in a raffle, we get one extra place. But if you're at a tier above, you buy uh, two spots, you get, I do believe, two spots extra, and so forth for all the tiers that he has. Now, I like doing raffles that way. And how he um, picks the winner is he goes to random.org, he rolls two dice, on random.org which is it rolls whatever number and he has the list of everybody's name in whatever order and however many or whatever the number is that the dice show he takes that list and he hits random at the bottom of the list and random.org randomizes the list and he is let's say he does he rolls a five so he randomizes that list five times completely random you know every time and well this time I do believe um, it rolled an eight and so he randomized the list of the patrons that um, wanted to be in the raffle he randomized it eight times and lo and behold we were at the top this time I technically with this raffle won this raffle for $20 but with the amount of money that I already have given with other raffles, I basically just paid for the snake. This time the raffle was between a Enchi Gold Blush scaleless head, or the other option was this guy. This is a male, and he's gonna be replacing one of my other males. Um, my other male that he's gonna be replacing is just a pastel male. No, nothing really special, but he locks to anything. My understanding, this guy locks to anything. Dave at JDH, he replaced this male with a blackhead hurricane. I'm envious of you, but I also have a hurricane down here. But mine's a spider Mojave hurricane. So I have three genes to your two. So, but... I like your gene that you have, the blackhead, better. But, speaking of that, that's what's in here. This is a breeder blackhead head hypo. Now, the reason why I chose this over the, um, the gold blush scaleless head NG is because we have a lot of hypo and we don't, really have too many males with hypo in them. Yes, I created some blade hypos this year, but I have Rose up there who is the mom to the blade hypos. I also have um, the banana uh, that we got earlier this year that's also head hypo, that's female. We have um, Honey, our Honey Bee back there that we picked up this year who is um, visually hypo, um, being paired up to our Corgol Exanthic male. Um, we got a lock this week, which is awesome. So we're gonna be shooting for true ghosts. Well, hats, anyways, double hats. 
and um, we have another little hypo girl down here uh, that we picked up. So we have quite a bit of hypo. So this male will actually fit the bill with all the other hypo stuff that we have. And well, it'll help to get some blackhead and some other genes too because I do have another blackhead male and he is 100% clone that we picked up from Garrick DeMeyer. I already opened this at work to make sure that it was alive. I always like to do that, um, but I didn't open the bag. All I did is go like this to make sure that I felt the snake actually move inside the bag, which it is. I love polyfill, by the way. Once we start shipping animals, we're using polyfill. Oh, I don't think this is 100% head head bowl. I think it was actually 66% head head bowl. So it wasn't proven yet I think where's the head always oh, nice to know where the head is up oh. it's a little on the cold side but proven breeder blackhead I'm going to call it head hypo for now until I verify, but yeah, proven breeder, so this male will be doing some pretty good backup work this year if um, we have some of our first time males not locking up, so we'll f find out in a few short months. I just started pairing this week with um, a bunch of our first timers. Um, our Xanthic boy is actually doing really good. Uh, pairing him up with two, and he locked with both. As long as he keeps eating, I'll keep pairing. But this guy is going to be our backup. All across the board, probably. Alright. Put the blackhead in the quarantine because every time you get a new animal, no matter where you get it from, you should put it in quarantine. Um, you can get it from Justin Gabolka, doesn't matter. Put it in quarantine for 30 to 60 days. Make sure that you're checking on it um, every other day, I would say at least. And you either check on it after you've handled all your other snakes, but never before. Because you don't want, if it's carrying something, you don't want to bring it into your mass collection that you may have. Um, if it's your only snake, that's fine. Quarantining and just having it, you know, it's its own snake. It's not going to transfer anything to itself. Another video I shot today is an egg cutting. It's our last clutch of the year. I hope she proves out, but... You'll have to wait and see. Next week's video. Last clutch of the year egg cutting. Check it out. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when that egg cutting video goes live. Until next time. See ya.